Hi, I'm Brian Coleman with VersaLift, the Vice President of Sales for North and South America. Well, we're going to be taking a look at uh, VersaLift's latest innovation today. It's called SlopeMax. It's a safety system designed to help keep the operators safer on areas where the ground is not level. Utility poles and telecommunication lines aren't just built on flat ground or five degree slopes. The OSHA regulations uh, say that you're not to operate on a slope that's greater than five degrees. However, we all know that you'll find power systems, telephone systems, uh, any area where you're using uh, aerial man lift, that there's gonna be slopes that are over five degrees. If you work on a slope higher than five degrees and it's not designed for it, you can uh, stress out the rotation system and cause failure of the system. So it really is a safety issue on that. You know, you can work on a, you know, this is about a five degree slope that you can work on. And, and, and when a lift goes up, you know, you're, you're, what you're doing is you're, you're wanna make sure that your, your truck doesn't tip whether it's on the side, uh, on a five degree slope, or, or either direction. So on a five degree slope, you know, they have to be tested and the boom rotates, because on a slope it has to rotate up and down a slope. Mm -hmm. and so it puts a lot of stress on this area and the rotation bearing, uh, the ro all the rotation components, and plus smooth operation on a slip on a slope, you don't, right. you know, if you don't do it right, a boom can start bouncing going up and down a slope. Being a lineman is, is uh, a dangerous, uh, often difficult job, uh, but they've got to get the work done. And everybody knows that the linemen are there to do one thing, and that's to keep your power on. Uh, so there are circumstances where they may operate in conditions that they probably shouldn't be. We put, you know, three sensors on the unit. One of them measures how level the lift is. One measures the boom angle, where it's at. And then one is in the uh, boom rest that just says, we're out of the boom rest, record the, the angle you're operating on. So it controls the boom, the lower boom angle, so that you can't put it in a position that would cause an unstable moment or a tipping moment. And the machine itself passively uh, recognizes those circumstances and it adjusts itself to keep the operator safe. If you're above uh, seven degrees, seven and a half degrees in that area, the boom will actually, lower boom will stop. So the operator doesn't have to do anything to make that happen, it just happens automatically. And then he'll know he's on a slope above seven and a half degrees. If he gets up over 10 degrees, the lower boom won't uncradle. You know, it's smart, he doesn't have to do the math. It measures the angles, it measures the boom, and it'll automatically stop him and keep him in a safe working angles for the area lift. Uh, there's no maintenance required at all. Uh, there aren't any grease fittings, there isn't anything that has to be done, there's no uh, annual uh, checkups or tests or anything that has to be done. It just works. Quality in everything we do is 100% customer focus on providing our customer with the, the best products in the industry. Safety should be expected. It should be free. So it's our responsibility to lower our costs so we can provide the safest product possible for the operator in the bucket. One of the unique things about Slope Max is it comes on when you set the truck up and turn it on to operate the aerial device. Uh, there's no extra steps to make that happen. You just turn the master switch on like you normally would, engage a PTO or DC drive, and slope max is on. And it's looking at the angle in every direction that that vehicle could possibly be in to ensure that you're not in a position that's going to exceed what that aerial device can operate in. The big advantage of slope max is it's, it's, it's omnidirectional as it measures the slope, meaning that you can either park directly up the slope, perpendicular to slope, or you can per park you know, diagonal on the slope. It really doesn't matter how you park on the slope. It does the calculations on the worst case scenario where you're gonna operate this lift. It's reasonably inexpensive. Uh, when you look at, at what it does for a company from a risk management standpoint, uh, we're keeping them from uh, situations that could cause them to tip the truck over. Uh, so you're mitigating risk for the company. And uh, when you look at that, it's pretty hard to measure a cost and say, oh gee, that's not acceptable, because it is, it's worth it, right? It'll be available on uh, several models of our combination articulated and telescopic. So. The uh, SST models, as well as a uh, broad line of the VST models. VersaLift is the number one innovator in the industry, and Slope Mac proves that once again. <laughs>